Hello everybody, and good morning, and welcome back to how to build a B-1 bomber, 10 minutes at a time. Hi people, I've been kind of working on my parting planes here, and I thought I'd better jump in and make a video before I got too far along. Whoops, forgot to do something else. Got to set the Bobo timer. Alright, well we better jump that up just a little bit. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm putting a piece of wood straight across the back. I'm going to use this for a parting plane and one across the bottom. For the simple reason, I need to get inside of here. You know, and uh, doing it this way, I can make my rudder a two-piece. I won't have to make my tip separate because I'll be able to get inside there and put my tape on it. And uh, also, so I can put my carbon tube inside there and, and get in there and put my post. See, my rudder post needs to back up a little bit because of the contour on my rudder. And uh, it'll just be all together better. And then uh, I won't throw these parting planes away. After I get both sides done and the resin set up, I'll drill me some alignment holes. And uh, that way when I'm laying up my rudder, I can put these pieces back on and it'll keep it the same thickness, you know. And uh, seeing this bottom's kind of curved, so what I'm doing is I'm just putting some screws in it. And uh, I'm going to hold her, hold her on there nice and snug. No, I was looking for my little screw gun. I forgot what I did with this. I just had it over the weekend working on the bomber. It's got to be right here. Here it is. I already got these holes pre drilled because it's just a couple layers of fiberglass in here and foam. So I don't want to over tighten nothing and uh, I drilled my hole in this wood bigger than I'm drilling this hole so I won't uh, strip out that hole you know going through the wood and I just want to snug these up but I'm going to get if I can get this ready in the next 30-45 minutes, I'm going to start laying it up. And I'll finish it off with a screwdriver because I don't want to over tighten it and strip it out. And uh, while I'm waiting for my uh, resin to set up, you know, in between coats, I'm going to get my or my horizontal step sanded. I love this little screw gun. It's a little skill. It's got a little flashlight on it. You pull the handle down a little bit and the flashlight comes on before the screw. See? That's pretty cool. You get it in them dark places, you know. You know, as builders get in some pretty dark, deep places and we need a light. Especially when you get old like me. We'll just snug these up. We don't want to over tighten nothing. Because we got to get rid of the gap in there. We don't want a lot of resin oozing down inside there. Even though I got it all waxed up, I used my uh, B1B Man McGuire method on this. On my vertical stab. Sorry, people, I just got. Having to say a rudder. <laughs> you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. I'm going to get this thing molded up today. I have my stab ready. I'll get all the parting done, done to, part and planes done today and have it ready to lay up in the morning. And then, bam, they'll be done. And get these parts laid up 
and uh, man, this thing will be close to being finished, y'all. I'm going to go to the hydraulic store today, sometime, see about getting an air trap and a couple other things, I need to get some more hose. That's plastic hose, airline hose, not hose that walk down the street. <laughs> Thought I'd better clarify that. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up some phone. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, how's y'all's Monday morning going? Thought I'd bust out some videos early and see if I can't chipper everyone up on this Monday morning. Make a couple videos today. Get rid of the Monday vlogs for all you guys. Dang, Survivor wasn't on last week for basketball. Can you guys believe that? They took Survivor off for basketball. I was quite upset. So, I'm going through Survivor withdrawals right now. So I know what y'all are going through without the Bob TV. That's bogus, man. No Bob TV. Y'all start jonesing. <laughs> I got the rest of these pieces cut, so they won't take me that long. Bam! All right, jamming now. You're jamming, man. All right, now I'm gonna take the old hot glue gun and glue that seam together. Got it plugged in. Just glue this together real good. You know, to keep the epoxy from oozing. You know through that seam and help hold everything together. Alright. Bam, that's a done deal. Now I got this piece. I made some strips. Now these should, if my calculations are correct, these should be put me out. If I glue these to the bottom, that should be on the center. Oh, we all know what that means, people. This episode of Bob TV is coming to an end. But, tune in later for some more action-packed bomber building action. We're at, where's the only place you can find bomber building action? Right here on Bob TV. So turn in, tune in later, folks. Same Bob time, same Bob station. This episode has been filmed in Philovision. This is a drama-free zone.